Keith. Keith's an amazing guy. What is up? It is Red, the Ride Cheer Ginger, coming right back at you for the second edition of the six minute ship shopping Saturday, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, I'm going to bring you a few more shipped tips today and hopefully less than six minutes. Gave you three tips in the last one. I think I'm going to have a few more tips today and just kind of off the top of the head a little bit. And some of them, like I said last time, a little bit dumb, uh, things that you probably already know but I think should be said anyways um, so let's just get it started I guess number one one of those stupid ones is plug in your damn phone so like I had this happen to me once where like I was getting to the end of an order my phone was almost dead and like I'm like shit I hope I get through this line quickly so I get this prepaid through and scanned and everything um, and just it was because I just wasn't I, I forgot to plug my phone a couple of times between trips so like make sure between trips you're plugging in your phone because last thing you want is it to die when you show up like or want it to die like while you're in the middle of an order like so make sure you plug in your phone between trips just kind of keep in charge as the day goes on it's pretty simple but it sounds simple and stupid but it's one of those things and like I heard another guy like that was doing shift he's like he's like oh could you scan this really quick because my phone's only got one percent so like there's people that are out there doing it like that. It's just, it's an easy reminder to not forget. The other one is the shop only orders. So they might not have this in your market, but they do have it in our market where there's orders where they are shop only, which means you're not gonna go deliver them. You go into the store, you shop it, they'll meet you outside and deliver to them. Me personally, I'm avoiding these for mainly one reason. And a lot of the, the bulk of what I've done, I make my money off tips and my concern is because they're meeting you at the store, I feel that the tips are gonna be lower. No proof of this, nothing. I haven't done a single shop only order, but I just feel like because you're not delivering it to them, they're not going to tip you as well, most likely. And then additionally, they're meeting you outside, so you gotta coordinate that meetup and everything. Yeah, there's a delivery window and things like that, but you still have to coordinate the meetup which means you might be wasting time, maybe five, 10 minutes. I've seen ship shoppers standing outside waiting for people to come for their order. So, and I'm sure there's ways about it where like where you're getting in line, like message them, because they're probably not too far away. They're probably only five to 10 minutes away. So when you're getting in line, starting to beg, you message them, say, hey, I just completed your order. I'll meet you outside. And I'm sure there's tips and tricks to get it done. But, or maybe when you're getting towards the end of the order, you let them know like, hey, I'm gonna be outside in like 10 minutes. I'll see you there. But in general, I think the tips are gonna be lower and there can be some wasted time in there. So I avoid all of the shop-only orders. Could be good, could be bad, but that's that's the way I go about it. That's the way I would advise you to go about it, mainly for those reasons. And then, I guess the last tip of the day, because we're at like three minutes already, but I can't sneak into here. Um, last tip is about bagging and like going to different aisles, things like that. And like, it's twofold. So one, it's gonna make the employees there are happier with you and less upset about something. Sorry about the rain if it's a little bit loud, but it's gonna make the employees a little bit happier with you and a little upset. If you walk up for a prepaid order, because I go to the self-checkout lines for the prepaid orders, you walk up, they scan the prepaid, and you're like, hey, can I, is it okay if I check, or you just say, is it okay if I check out on aisle seven, which is not one of the self-checkout lanes, just giving an example of an aisle, or if you say, hey, would you prefer me to check out on aisle, or to bag on aisle seven? And you just do it one of those two ways and they're gonna be happy with you because you're not taking up those self checkout lanes that most likely have a line. Now, if there's no line there, I probably won't do it because I'm like, oh no, you can just bag right here. Or if there's a machine down, like one of the self checkouts that are down, then you bag there is what they're gonna tell you to do. But I try to get them to let me bag on a different aisle because it, it tends to make them happier because you're holding up the line and making things easier. But then also, if you go to a regular aisle, if it's at a Meyer, not a Target, Targets don't really have these, but at the Myers, they got the little turn bag thing. Now granted, a lot of the Myers they lock them in place so they don't turn for you, and I don't know how to lock them, it's probably simple, but I don't know how to lock it myself, but if they forget to lock it, which I find it's about half the time it's unlocked, it's gonna turn for you, which is gonna speed up that bagging process for you, and if you got a big order, it's gonna save you maybe five minutes or something, or maybe a little bit less, but saving yourself a little bit of time to get onto that next, next order or something like that to get going and moving quicker and if it's not turning the other thing is like you can still like i'll walk around it and i'll fill it up all the way around so that like if my cart's full it's like where do you set the bags well at least it's set up there where if you're in the self-checkout lane it's going to be a little more crammed a little bit more difficult and you're going to move 
most likely a little bit slower. So it's kind of twofold. It's gonna make the employees a little bit happier, most likely, and it's going to make the process move a lot quicker for you. So those are the three tips for today. Plug in your damn phone, don't do the shop only, and bag on a separate aisle than the self-checkout lanes. If you have any questions in regards to ship shopping, I've only been doing it for about two months now, but I've been, at, these last couple of weeks, I've been averaging 40 to $50 an hour. It's been absolutely insane. Most of that is like, a lot, or not most of that, a good chunk of that is tips. So, I mean, maybe your markets don't tip very good, but a good chunk of that's tips, so that's beautiful. But I've been doing good with it. If you have questions, put them in the comments. I'll try to answer them on the next Ship Shopping Tuesday that I do, or <laughs> Ship Shopping Tuesday, Ship Shopping Saturday that I do. Um, and we'll go from there. But until next time, guys, like, comment, share. Let me know what you think. Appreciate the views. Thanks.